What's up, heroes? Uh, this week, we are talking about how to wake up bright, energetic, uh, vibrant, um, momentous. This week, we're going to talk about sleep. How do you re rejuvenate and re revitalize your mind, body, and soul every night so that you can wake up fresh and ready to dominate the day every day? And it all comes down to your sleep. And uh, one of the biggest misconceptions that people have with, you know, when I tell them I wake up at 4 a.m. and, you know, the morning hero and everything, they believe that if I wake up early, I must be shortcutting sleep. And that is not true at all. Uh, it can't be more opposite of the truth. Uh, sleep is pivotal to performance. And the whole point of waking up early is to be more productive and increase your production and your performance. Sleep is a big part of you being able to produce at the highest level. So the last thing we want to do is shortcut sleep. In fact, studies show that um, sleep deprivation has been equated to intoxication. They've done studies that of people that drive drowsy versus driving drunk. Drowsy driving actually causes more accidents than drunk driving. Uh, so sleep deprivation and not getting enough sleep is equivalent to taking a couple of shots of tequila. Now, let me ask you this. Would you, would you go into work and just slam a couple of shots right before you go into work? I would hope you wouldn't, but some, you know, we're doing that to ourselves by if we shortcut our sleep and then expect that we can carry out the day and perform at our highest level. Our decision making is impaired. Uh, our ability to think clearly is impaired when we don't get enough sleep. In fact, the U.S. military uses sleep deprivation as a torture tactic. This is how they extract information from prisoners of war by keeping up, keeping them up for days at a time until the brain essentially gets to a point where it starts to go delirious. And then that's how they can get information out of them. That's how they can get anything they want from them when they're sleep deprived. Sleep de deprivation makes you drunk and it's used as a torture tactic. So why would you do it to yourself? So that's the last thing we want to do as high performers and high achievers is to deprive ourselves of sleep. So let's get that out of the way. Waking up early does not mean shortcutting sleep. So uh, if we're going to wake up early and then still get the same amount of sleep we need, it all comes down to going to bed early. Every time someone wants to know, how do I wake up early? The first thing I tell them is, well, the time you wake up is just a reflection of what time you went to bed. So this week we are concentrating on sleep and more specifically, we're going to concentrate on how you go to bed because that will dictate how, what time you go to sleep. It'll dictate the quality of your sleep and it'll eventually dictate what time, how you wake up, what time you wake up, the energy you have, you wake up, the mindset you're in when you wake up. It all comes down to how you went to bed the previous night. So this week we are starting the power down hour challenge. The power down hour is the last hour before you go to bed. Now, just like how you ramp up for something, you have to get momentum. You know, if you imagine a, a track athlete, they don't just jump on a track and start running. They do a warm up routine. They get their themselves in gear. You ramp up, right? Just how you ramp up for the day, how you ramp up for a big event, how you get in the right groove and mindset for sleep. You go through the same process. You go a ramp down process. <clears throat> you can't just you know, go from spinning at 100 miles an hour and then come to an abrupt halt. You, when you slam the brakes, you actually come to a slow descent. And the power down hour is the way you're going to come bring your day to a slow descent so you can coast in to your sleep rhythm. And so this week we're going to concentrate and we're going to talk a lot about what does a power down hour look like? How do you wind down your day? Our days are so jam packed with stress and anxiety and all the weight uh, 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 and tension of everything that we're carrying around all day. Our brains are going a thousand miles an hour. There is a systematic way for you to kind of bring all that down to a close so you can actually go to sleep at the at the time you need to go to sleep and get really good quality sleep so you can wake up uh, and, and be prepared for the next day. So this week, we're going to concentrate on the power down hour, the last hour before you go to bed. So your challenge today is just simple. 
you want to set an alarm on your phone to go off an hour before your designated bedtime. So let's let's calculate this. So for my in my sake, I need to be I want to wake up at four and I know how much sleep sleep I need. I only need about six hours of sleep. Now, everyone has a different sleep number, if you will. So you design you, you, you discern, determine what your sleep number, how many hours of sleep do you need? And then so you take what time you want to wake up and you backtrack how many hours of sleep you need. And then you'll come up to your bedtime or your sleep time, what time you actually need to be in bed by. And so for me, that that number is 9, 8, 9 p.m. I need to be asleep by 9 p.m. to get my right amount of hours of sleep so I can wake up fresh at 4 a.m. So if 9 p.m. is the time I actually need to be asleep by, I'm going to set my alarm for 8 p.m., one hour prior to the time that I need to be asleep by. That last hour is the power down hour. So today your challenge is, what is your power down hour? Determine the time that you need to, to start your wind down process so that you can be sleeping by your designated sleep time so that you can still get the full amount of sleep that you need and get and still wake up early, uh, uh, fresh and on time. So what is your designated sleep time, uh, power down hour time? And then you're going to go in your phone into the alarms section and you're going to set an alarm You call that alarm. You can label it power down hour. Actually, the way I label my alarm, it says take your ass to sleep. So uh, you can label your alarm whatever you want, but you're going to go and set an alarm on your phone to go off at that time. And then all this week, we're going to go over what you do during power down hour. There's a whole host of things you can do to bring your night and your evening to a close. Uh, so we're going to talk about different tactics. But today, I just want you to set your power down hour alarm. And then uh, that's going to trigger you to start your wind down process so you can still get to bed on time, still get the right amount of sleep you need and still wake up early, fresh, vibrant with momentum so you can dominate the day. All right, set your alarm and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.